it, but. To develop a soil profile, you need a soil probe. Press the probe in to the top of the window and twist it to hold the sample and then pull it out. And now you can look at the sample itself. As you can see on this sample, it is all one soil horizon. So then you want to measure it. In this case, we've got 26 centimeters of a horizon with uh, the top part, the organic matter, occupying, if you look and see where the organic matter ends, it's right here. Mm -hmm. And so the organic matter occupies five centimeters, and then the A horizon is 21 centimeters. Return to the same hole and press it in so that you don't go past the soil window and look for the B horizon. Twist it. Bring it up looking for the B horizon. If you're careful, you can see the B horizon. Right there, where it goes from organic soil to the sand in the B horizon. So we have 21 centimeters of A horizon and we add three more centimeters so it gives us 24 centimeters of A horizon and then the B, B horizon starts there and we've got at least 15 of that and we could continue on down looking for any C horizon. In this environment you're probably going to have all pure sand below your A horizon here. You've got an organic layer and an A horizon and you're not going to find much more than sand. It's pretty much all sand. So in this case we're going to take our organic layer, which we can see by moving and looking for when the soil starts to stick together. There's our organic layer at the top. We're going to separate that out and we're going to take a sample of the A horizon. And we still see there's some organic particles in there. We're working our way down and now we've got a sample of the A horizon from this, this spot right here. And we'll hold on to that. And then we'll take the organic matter on the top layer so that we can take a look at that as well in comparison and look at the percent organic matter on a sample here. We'll remove that. Okay, so we've got the organic matter layer here and we've got the A horizon. To use the profile sampler, set the collection end on the ground and stomp on the foot pegs. Make sure the sampler goes in straight and up to the pegs. Before you pull it out, move it around a little to be sure it will hold the sample. To observe the profile and collect the sample, remove the wing nut and pull off the metal cover.